minute. So they've invited one girl onto the live stream, innit? Yeah, so the screen split in half, innit? So boom, all you're seeing is ceiling. Yeah, you know them people? They talk, they talk all this bullshit on the net and that, but they don't show their face, they don't come up. All you're seeing is the fucking ceiling, blood. Yeah, literally. All you're seeing is that, yeah? And the gal's talking about, yeah, the guy from the Fresh and Fit podcast got me pregnant and he forced me to get an abortion and that. Nah, fucking jump on the camera in it, yeah, and show your fucking face. A man's just probably got a girl to lie on them, man. Man, man, man are so vindictive. Man are so, like, girl no, nowadays, a man will lie. Oh, spot that one. Well, not spot that one, but anyway, haters and jealousy. Boy. A big man don't get rich. A big man don't make no money because a man's just going to hate on you, boy. Like man always say, man always use my, my favourite analogy, innit? Yeah, you could have three men. They're all on 35 to 40 grand a year. They all drive okay cars, innit? You know, decent cars. BMW, Audi, Mercedes. They all live in a terraced house in a similar area. But make one of them man there start earning 150 grand a year make that same brother get a detached house. make that same man upgrade to a jaguar f type r supercharged and watch them other man there start looking at him sideways man will start coming up with things you know ah oh, my man's moving a bit funny you know like i might not even want to hang around with a man no more you know tell him man he's too busy and hold on a minute if a man's earning 150 grand a year or well, maybe because he's earning more money, he's going to have less time because his job's going to be more demanding and stuff. No. Man's just going to hate. Man's just going to be jealous. You know what? Like man said, made a video recently when I was in my kitchen. If you ain't hated, you ain't rated. If you cannot think of no haters right now, that is not a good thing. Especially if you're a guy. Yeah. If you ain't got no haters, in it, yeah, it's not even about money. Like, you might, a man, a man will hate on you just because you get girl. Or a man might hate on you because he likes the girl that you're with. Or a man might hate on you because of the clothes that you wear. There must be something about you that other people hate, like me. Man, listen. The amount of haters that man's got. Man's got secret haters as well, isn't it? But you know what the secret haters are, isn't it? The secret haters are really admirers, isn't it? Yeah, they just won't ever tell you. So you know what? They'll do the actual opposite of that. They admire you, but they're jealous. So what they'll do is they'll act like they hate you, innit? Yeah. Or they or, or they just won't even tell you to your face. They'll act like they will cool with you, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah, I thought Northwest might be a, a girl. I'm not too sure. Man don't follow these people, innit? But yeah. Yeah, man. Haters and jealousy, boy. Whew. Boy. You, you, like, like me, I'm driving a Honda Civic, yeah? Make me get a Mercedes. Make me get a brand new white Mercedes, a C43 or just any Mercedes and park it out the front, yeah? Watch my neighbours hate. Watch my neighbours hate. Watch my neighbours hate. Instead of going and buying their own Mercedes, no, nope, they'll sit and hate. Yeah? Haters are so deluded. They will sit and scheme and plot to tear you down. And if they just put the same energy into themselves, they can have what you have. Like man said, I was talking about this, about that Fresh and Fit podcast. There are man, I've seen it, live streams where man are doing four hour live streams about the man them from the Fresh and Fit podcast trying to expose them you forget gunshot for that you're a pussy blood why are you making videos you think, man, you think i would make any diss videos about any other youtubers or anything like that a man can make a diss video about me disrespecting me i ain't even gonna respond to it fam. i am and the thing is as well the worst thing is as well these men that are making these four hour live streams exposing exposing the man them from the fresh and fit podcast and that 
The man there from the Fresh and Fit podcast ain't even mentioned this man's name. But no, a man them feel it's their duty, it's their obligation to expose man. Because man are haters. Man, the only reason why they're hating on the man is because the man them are blowing up. The man them are doing their thing, getting views, making money off of it. And their, and their podcasting is dead. Their podcasting is dead. You forget gunshot for that. You're making videos about man that ain't got no beef with you, innit? A man's not even making a response. Man's not even trying to tarnish a next man's name as a response to him being dissed in the first place. He's, a man's not even replying, but a man's just starting beef for no reason, fam. What's the matter with you, blood? That's what hate does. Because I guarantee you, if the Fresh and Fit podcast got my views on that, ain't nobody making no response videos, no diss videos to that, fam. But man are jealous. Man are jealous. Man are jealous. Man are really got people coming on. And the thing is as well, I, th this same stupid live stream that man saw in it, man shouldn't even have given it that one minute of attention that I did because he just don't deserve it. But a man is getting, I guarantee you, a man probably even paid or asked a girl to come on to the, uh, come to the live stream. And so boom. Uh, oh, that's not gonna work in. Anyway, like you see me, I'm the only person in this uh, live stream, in it. So they've invited one girl onto the live stream, in it. Yeah. So the screen's split in half, in it. So boom, all you're seeing is ceiling. Yeah. You know them people. They talk. They talk all this bullshit on the net and that, but they don't show their face. They don't come up. All you're seeing is the fucking ceiling, blood. Yeah, literally, all you're seeing is that, yeah? And the gal's talking about, yeah, the guy from the Fresh and Fit podcast got me pregnant and he forced me to get an abortion and that. Nah, fucking jump on the camera, innit, yeah, and show your fucking face. A man's just probably got a girl to lie on them, man. Man, man, man are so vindictive. Man are so, like, gal no, nowadays, a man will lie. A man will lie. A man will lie on a man, you know, just to make him look bad, you know. It's sneaky, fam. How the fuck are you gonna lie on people and all them things, man? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it goes behind you. And I say, I'll be honest, I'm just, I'm just anti, so even if I fuck. Nah, fam, it's all right, fam. If you don't like something, whatever, it, that's cool, innit? But man, am I taking it to another level? Man, are fucking making four hour live streams, this in next man. Come on, man. Come on, blood. I've seen man make videos about other YouTubers saying, oh, this YouTuber's copying me and man's really getting angry and ranting and that. But come on, fam. If a next YouTuber's copying you and stealing your ideas, you know what? Yeah, that might be a good thing, you know? It might seem negative, I get it, innit? Yeah, but that means that you're onto something. If a man's teeth in your ideas and that, that means your ideas are good. Don't be worried about people teeth in your ideas. Be worried about when people stop stealing your ideas. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, there's just too much haters in this world, man. Everyone thinks that, like, ah, oh, everyone's behind them and then they're bridges and that. Yeah, it's probably because you ain't really doing much. Start doing stuff and start outshining the people that are around you, you know, watch the hate. Watch the hate. Even them little young girls from South London, them little gassed up ladies. I was watching that ZZ Mills um, her show that on the Trans, Trans, Trans Central, whatever. It? ZZ Mills. I, I see her in Edmonton, actually. <laughs> she lives around the corner from my mum's yard, I feel. But anyway, I see them on, I, I see their little interview on um, that Trans, uh, ZZ Mills' show, isn't it? Um, yeah. Them little young girls from South London, them little gassed up ladies, they were saying that when they um, started rapping or whatever, innit, they got invited to be a part of some 
family WhatsApp group with people that they didn't really know in it. Yeah, just so they could get acquainted with people them that were in their family that they weren't too familiar with, maybe on their dad's side or something. In it. And boom, bit of hate in the in the in the group chat, you know. Oh, why you don't have to start rapping and rare, rare, rare and what? I found keep your fucking opinions to yourself, bro. Like if they want girls want to start rapping, let them do their thing in it. Yeah, if you want to work your mediocre job, that's up to you, innit? Yeah, let them do what they want to do, innit? As long as they ain't nothing illegal, innit? Yeah, if they want to rap, let them rap, innit? No, people want to give their opinion because they're jealous. They're jealous that they're getting attention. They're jealous that they're getting clout. Ah, fuck them. Fuck ah, them, man. Yeah, family the worst, boy. If you think that when you do something new, you're gonna get support from your family, think again. Yeah, be maybe one or two in it, but the rest of them just gonna laugh at you. Innit? Telling you, when I wrote that book and the book came out, nobody said it, but I know some people probably thought to themselves, "Who are you? How dare you write a book? Who do you think you are, blood, to write a book?" Yeah. Like, this, 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 this should not come from this family. No, no authors should come from this family. When I say family, I don't mean my, my household where I grew up. I mean my extended family. Second, third cousins. and I'm talking about people like that. Not, not my immediate household. You never know, but I doubt it. But not my immediate household, isn't it? But, um, yeah. People in my family, I know they probably thought. Who, who are you? How dare you write a book? Especially if I spoke about doing it as well. Like, I remember I was telling one, um, it's like one of my friend's friends. Really. When I used to go to the gym in Edmonton Green, the gym, yeah, boom. I was in there and I think I must have mentioned something like, yeah, I'll start writing this book. This was a couple of years ago. Yeah, I'm going to start writing this book in it. He said, you know, it takes people five to ten years to write a book. Man, shut up, man. I could I could have completed that book a lot sooner if I wasn't dragging my heels with it. A man will tell you about all the negatives. But before I go into that, because that's the next thing I should be done within the next 30 minutes. This is almost gonna be a five-hour live stream, you know. Respect to the man then that I've been watching most of the way through, innit? Um, let me end it there in it with the haters in it. Well, you lot understand the gist. You lot have dealt with haters. You must have. You must have. It, it could be something minor, like you lot dealing with a girl that other people want. Man will hate you for that. Innit? Getting a job promotion. Man will hate you for that. Innit? 